All right, we're almost done with our journey through cell-mediated immunity, and there's only one more cell type to talk about, the regulatory T-cells. So we're here in the castle courtyard, and if that ominous pit looks pretty ominous, don't worry, bad things are going to happen. Regulatory T-cells aren't quite like either helper or killer T-cells. They're CD4 positive like helper T-cells, but they're not so kind and friendly. They're regulators. They keep shit in line. They kind of remind us of medieval drill sergeants, helping train up soldiers and yelling a lot along the way. Oh, and by the way, shout out to Christian, who won a sketchy contest and is now inscribed in history forevermore as this drill sergeant. Congrats, Christian. You're famous. So before we dig deeper into how regulatory T-cells control the immune system, let's add a four strap to this drill sergeant's armor to help you remember that regulatory T-cells express CD4. But that's not the only cell surface protein they make. They also express CD25, which is a structural component of the IL-2 receptor. And we'll come back to IL-2 in just a little bit. As their name suggests, regulatory T-cells regulate the immune system. They do that by controlling or suppressing the immune response, much like this drill sergeant who's ordering everyone to stop and probably drop and give me 50. So what's he all upset about? Well, Tregs are responsible for what's called peripheral tolerance, which is a fancy way of saying they eliminate self-reactive T-cells that have escaped the thymus, just like Sarge here is sending this self-reactive t knight back to Sparta. This is peripheral tolerance. Sorry, best Gerard Butler I could do. The punishment might seem a little harsh, but their ability to maintain self-tolerance is exactly why regulatory T-cells are important in preventing autoimmune disease. 